Hello, it's Jennifer Harding Marlin. Today's video is going to talk about frequently asked questions that we get for citizenship by investment. And so the frequently asked questions that we get all the time is whether or not someone should apply as a single applicant and then add their current family members at a later date, or whether or not they should include all of their family members in the initial application, or if they should just include some of their family members and then choose to add other family members at a later date. Oftentimes the response to this question is to include all family members all at once at the initial stage of the application. Oftentimes, this is more cost effective than adding them at a later date, as well as it's, you're gonna have to inconvenience yourself to do citizenship by investment, and therefore you may only want to inconvenience yourself once instead of having to provide paperwork at a later date and go through the process all again at a later date. And this way, everybody can get the passport and will be issued the passport on a similar date as opposed to having different dates for renewing the passport. Like uh, for example, someone will renew it, have to renew it in 10 years or someone in five years and then someone is actually in 11 years from now or 12 years from now or whatever date they decide to get citizenship, that everyone will have their passport and citizenship at the same date. It really depends on your current situation, what, what is best. Sometimes we see people that want to just get citizenship for themselves and then we'll consider adding their spouse and children at a later date, which is totally acceptable. Um, it's not looked down upon if you decide to not include everyone in your application at the initial stages and you want to add them at a later date, that's no problem. So some of the programs, they have a lower cost for a single applicant. However, it's important to note that if you're adding your current spouse at a later date, it might come at a cost of $50,000 donation to the Citizenship by Investment Unit and a high cost for adding your children that are currently born that you decided not to include at the initial stages. So we do provide cost quotations if you're applying as a single applicant or if you're applying with all your family members all at once, as well as the cost to add them at a later date and for the different programs, what costs you can anticipate. So really it depends on a case-by-case -case basis, but often, most often our response is, you may want to include everyone all at once in the initial application, um, one for convenience, as well as for cost effectiveness, if everyone does want, in fact, want to get citizenship by investment. Oftentimes, Sometimes we see people that have a strong passport that don't wish to do citizenship by investment. And sometimes we see people that want to have everyone on their family on the same passport. Sometimes it's nice to have everyone in your family on the same passport. This way you know you have access to all the same countries and maybe facility when booking travel that everyone travels on the same passport. So if you'd like more information, you can contact me at jennifer at jhmarlin.com or visit our website at jhmarlin.com. And I'd be happy to answer any questions as well as provide a detailed cost quotations specific to your specific case. All the best. Bye for now. Bye.